two breaststroke medals, uh, 100 and 200. Both gold medals, must be really pleased with that one. Yeah, delighted. Um, it was great to win such a close finish in the 100 earlier in the week. Um, but to be honest, you know, didn't really take the pressure off the 200s. My favoured event, um, you know. So I was pretty nervous coming into tonight. Uh, the tactic was to go out pretty hard, but you know, I think subconsciously I was thinking about that last 50. I knew it was going to be a bit of a dog fight, so you know, I'm just grateful I had something left in the tank. Well, so you and Andy Willis, who came second by setting PBs as well. I mean, did you feel like it was going to have to be a PB to win tonight? Um, I thought I was going to have to be pretty close. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think. We all knew with it being so close, everyone was going to have to step up a level tonight. Um, earlier in the week, I think we were all just a bit short of PBs on the 100, but you know sometimes that's a good sign for the 200. It shows that you know the, the fitness is still there and the speed's maybe what's missing. So I think that really helped in the 200 tonight. Of course, you got your first Commonwealth medal, silver in this event in Delhi. Do you feel like you might be able to get your first world medal in the same event uh, in Shanghai? So. Um, you know, I think a year out, if you look. Looking at Olympic medals, you know, I think a year out you need to be top three in the world. Um, you know, there's going to be two Japanese swimmers, the Hungarian guy Goethe, are going to be real top competition. And of course, Brenton Rickard, the guy that won gold in Delhi. Um, you know, but that's what the challenge is there, you know, so I can't wait to get back in there and get training for Shanghai. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Cheers. Thank you.